Histrionic personality disorder. We don't talk about that a lot in here, but it kind of relates to narcissistic personality disorder because some people have both. And sometimes people think they're with a narcissist and what they're with is someone who has histrionic personality disorder. There are crossovers in the behaviors, but what we're gonna talk about today is simply the some of the signs of a histrionic personality disordered person. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand toxic relationships and heal from narcissistic people, or in this case, histrionic people in your life. The histrionic personality disorder has some really distinct traits that differ in the way that they come across from the way a narcissistic person might display those same traits, okay? so. One thing is they are a constant attention seeker. And you might say, yeah, well, so are narcissists. Yes, but the histrionic person needs to be the center of attention. They need all eyes on them at all times, in all situations, especially from the person that they are trying to get the supplier attention from, okay? So if you are dating someone, married to someone, or friends with someone who has histrionic personality disorder and you are in a party, or you are in a crowd, or you're somewhere where there's other people, they will be trying to get the attention of the crowd or trying to maintain your attention 100%, no matter who you're talking to or what you're doing in that situation. So if you're talking to friends at a party, they will either be pouting in the corner or they will be doing things and acting out and displaying themselves in a way that forces your attention back to them. Now, a narcissistic person might do this too, but it's gonna look a little different. The histrionic person is going to use their looks they're going to use their sexuality. They're going to use provocativeness. They're going to have exorbitant displays of emotion and over the top dramatics, theatrics, and things like that. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Okay, another thing that histrionic personality disordered person does is as I said, they have sexual provocativeness or they use their sexuality to gain attention they tend to be highly promiscuous, cheating, and non-trustworthy people in this department, okay? They will sleep with your best friend. They will sleep with your husband. They will sleep with your wife, whatever it is. They're the type that needs all of that type of attention coming toward them, okay? They have to have people wanting them. That's super important for them, and they will use it. The histrionic personality disorder, if you break up with them, we're gonna say it's a female this time, okay? And say you break up with her. She will then contact you telling you about her new conquests of people or who is interested in her or how she's not dating them but they really want her and just to make you jealous, just to make you give her that attention again. And oftentimes it works because it's not done in a subtle way. It's done in over the top ways. She will look gorgeous. She will dress up just the way you like it. She will say all the right words that she knows will get you to pay attention to her. Another trait of the histrionic personality disorder is shifting emotions. It's like they are actors, okay? They put on the emotion that suits the mood. So maybe they're really pouty because they're not getting attention. And then someone else comes in the room and they're all lit up and they're just trying to show how amazingly gorgeous they are and how, you know, okay, it's fake. And both of those emotional displays were fake. And when they show real emotion, it tends to be over dramatized and overly thrown at you so that you are wrapped up in it and having to put all your attention and focus on calming or engaging with their emotional state. One thing they say about histrionic personality disordered people is that they have an obsession with how they look. And now we know that narcissists do as well oftentimes, but not always, okay? The histrionic personality disorder's appearance is everything. And now don't get me wrong. If you like to dress up and doll yourself up and or get all handsome or whatever it is for your life, 
that doesn't mean you have histrionic personality disorder. What it means is the way that someone with histrionic personality disorder acts and behaves and uses the way that they look and their appearance to get the attention and get all eyes on them at all times in every situation, even inappropriately. So like basically they're the ones that try to outdress a bride right at her own wedding or try to dress better than the CEO of a company who's giving a speech that night, right? So they're the ones who are trying to outdo everyone with their looks at all times for the sole purpose of having everyone's attention on them. It is different than dressing nice for yourself, enjoying clothes, liking to looking nice. There's plenty of people out there who do this in a healthy way and have a healthy relationship with, you know, having an appearance that they create that looks good on them for themselves, for their life. That is different than doing it to get attention from everyone in the world at all costs, even in inappropriate times. Their speech has two distinguishing factors. A histrionic personality disordered person will have dramatic and over-dramatized versions of truth, okay? They elaborate and exaggerate the truths in a way that the storytelling gets them the attention. And they have a fake way of speech about it. It's, if you're good at picking it up, you can sense it. Like that person is making this up or they're really over-dramatizing this situation, especially if you were there and then you listen to the storytelling, you go, huh. And then the other factor that they have with their speech is a vagueness. So it's almost like they're able to sweet talk or flowery talk or sugary sweet talk their way through things, but none of it has any substance. So it's kind of like word salad, only instead of lots of words, it doesn't have to be lots of words. It's just vague descriptions of everything. And you'll see that a lot in spiritual communities or communities where there's healing or self-care type of talk that makes no sense. In fact, I watched a video the other day someone sent me where the person was doing this strange talk. And at the end of the video, I said, what were they even talking about? It kind of feels like I just sat there watching them for the sake of seeing them. <laughs> right for a long time anyway so that vague speech that is part of histrionic personality disorders way of communicating another thing that the histrionic will do is be extremely theatrical in everything that they do or say okay they also are also very suggestible and influenced by others in conversation what they're doing is they're grooming and they are mirroring the suggestibility isn't naivety. What it is, is them mirroring back. Have you ever talked to someone and, and you're like, oh, this thing is great. And they go, I like that thing. And then, and then you, somebody else says, oh, fishing's even better. And they go, oh, I love fishing. And basically what they're doing is agreeing with and aligning with everything around them, but not so much in a narcissistic way where they throw it back at you. It's almost like, they adapt and they take it on and they become that and then it's forgotten, right? Because they're on to the next thing. And then and the last thing I'm gonna say here is that the histrionic personality disordered person will make it seem like relationships are more intimate than they really are. And in fact, they may believe that relationships are more intimate than they really are. They get close really fast. They will be your best friend in five minutes, like for real, your best friend, you will be with them for the rest of your life in five minutes. Similar to the way people with borderline personality disorder might latch on and attach to people really quickly, this is a way that is the latching on and attaching that then forces your attention onto them. So they will be all up in your business, your best friend, but then suddenly it's all about them really fast. Similar to a narcissist, but more in the way of, please just adore me and give me attention. Tell me how beautiful I am and you know, that kind of thing. So histrionic personality disorder in a nutshell, and we will talk more. If you guys need coaching, group coaching, or support, check out the information in the description of every video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe, 
and hit one of the playlists on this channel for a whole lot of videos on narcissistic personality disorder.